All right, thank you, Tony. Now, as Tony was telling us, even if Bill passes by southern New England, we will still experience rough seas, high surf, and dangerous rip currents. For boaters, this is a major concern. Just a few hours ago, the Coast Guard issued an advisory for all boaters in southern New England. Eyewitness News is getting you storm ready. Reporter Catherine Sotnick joins us live in Barrington with details on how mariners are preparing for the potential threat from Hurricane Bill. Well, Karen, believe it or not, some mariners here at this Barrington Marine are actually inquiring about removing their boats at this point for the larger than normal swells that we're expecting. You can see here behind me at this point, the water completely calm. But as Bill continues to move up the coast, of course, that is expected to change. Boats remain tied to their moorings at the Cove Haven Marina in Barrington as owners there tonight keep a careful watch on Hurricane Bill. Bruce Dufresne is the harbor master there and also in East Providence. He says preparations have already begun. Once we get a better idea as it gets a little bit closer that it's coming up this way, we'll, we'll issue uh, an order to remove all vessels from the water. The Coast Guard also warning boaters to check their moorings and secure their belongings. They're also taking preparations themselves, including issuing a port condition whiskey advisory. We're putting everyone on shorter standby, being able to recall all of our personnel as necessary and repositioning some of our assets. They also have Operation Whiskey that's into effect right now. All ocean-going larger ships, uh, such as your uh, gasoline tankers and barges, uh, they have to uh, notify the uh, captain of the port as to their intentions of whether they're going to stay into port or whether they're going to go offshore. Also of concern, dangerous rip currents. If this projected track comes up Narragansett Bay and we get a tidal surge of 10, 15, or 20 feet, those people are going to be washed off the beaches. And, of course, the idea here tonight not to scare people, but, of course, to make sure that people are educated and to keep a careful watch. Reporting live tonight from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom here in Barrington, I'm Catherine Sodnik, Eyewitness News.